Glory, hallelujah. It's another beautiful, beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. It's always a blessing and an opportunity for every last one of us to continue to seek him in this kingdom right now in the mighty name of Jesus, to give him the thanks right now, to give him the praise right now, to give him the glory right now. Even though you might be hurting right now, your situation might be looking the same right now, your circumstances might be looking the same right now. But no matter what you're going through right now, no matter how you're feeling right now, praise, praise is always necessary. Praise will always make you feel better. And if you don't believe me, won't you give it a try? Praise will always make your situation feel better. Even though you might be in the midst of your dog storm right now. Even though you might be in your dog tunnel right now. But when you start praising Jesus right now. When you start lifting his name up high right now. When you call out his name right now. He will come to you. He will run faster than the road runner right now. But it have to start from you. You got to give him what he owes. You got to thank him. You got to praise him. You got to worship him. You got to do that on a daily basis. Just don't do it because you're going through something. Just don't do it because you need something. But you want to do it because you're in love with Jesus. You want to do it because you trust him. You want to do it because he's your salvation. You want to do it because he's your refuge. You want to do it because he's your help. You want to do it because he's your everything. That's what I mean by giving him the praise. That's what I mean by giving him the glory. That's what I mean by shouting out his holy name right now. Give Jesus the thanks right now and give him the praise right now in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Right now, give him the praise. Hallelujah. Today's text is coming from Exodus 19, and we're going to read verse 5. That's Exodus chapter, chapter 19, and we're going to read verse 5. And today's lesson is, your obedience will determine the size of your breakthrough. Your obedience will determine the size of of your breakthrough. Everybody need to, need to listen to this word right here. When you listen to it, you really, really need to listen to it. And you need to meditate on it. Once you listen to it and you meditate on it, you need to really, really, really just focus on this message right now today. And when you focus on it, you need to share this message with many people because everybody needs to know this right here. Your obedience determines the size of your breakthrough. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this came thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today and our healing today. I just can't thank you enough for for everything that you're doing in our life today, what you're about to do, I just can't thank you enough for the open doors. I just can't thank you for the, all the um, new opportunities that is coming our way today. I just can't thank you enough for our deliverance today. I just can't thank you for our anointing today. I just can't thank you for our healing today. I just can't thank you enough for our miracle today. I just can't thank you enough for our breakthrough today. I just can't thank you enough for what you're doing for me today, oh Heavenly Father God. What you're doing for your son today. What you're doing for your daughter today. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy today. Today, oh Heavenly Father God, for who you are and what you stand for, I just can't thank you enough. And that's why I praise you the way I do. That's why I glorify you the way I do. And that's why I'm always going to magnify and lift your name up high the way I do because I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we are about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Exodus 19, and we're going to read verse 5. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen, let's begin. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all of the nation, you will be my treasure possession. Although the whole earth is mine. You will, be, you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. If you obey me fully, that's what he's saying. You got to obey Jesus fully. The word of God say, if you obey me fully, not half, not three quarters, but you have to obey him 
fully. That's what he said. And keep my covenant. He said, then all the nations, you will be my treasured possession, although the whole earth is mine. He didn't say a little bit the earth is his. He didn't say three quarters of the earth is his. He didn't say a half of the earth is his. He said the whole earth is his. Everything is his. And if you fully, fully obey him, you are part of that treasure possession. See, my brothers and sisters, see your obedience, your obedience determines the size of your breakthrough. If you're only giving Jesus a third of your obedience, just, for, just to think, you're going to get a third of your breakthrough. If you're only giving a, just a little bit, just receive a little bit of your breakthrough. If you're only giving Jesus just a half, just remember, you're going to receive half of your breakthrough. But when you obey Jesus fully, no matter what your situation looks like right now, no matter what your circumstance looks like right now, no matter how dark your tunnel looks like right now, no matter what your storm looks like right now, no matter if you're back against the wall right now, no matter if people are um, downing you or letting you down right now, no matter what the situation is right now, but when you fully, when you fully obey Jesus and you're followed by all his covenant and his commands, your breakthrough is going to be more than enough. And the reason why it's going to be more than enough, the word of God said the whole earth is his. You're his prized treasure possession. And once you become Jesus, treasure possession, whatever it is in the earth belongs to you as well. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to say that again. When you fully, fully obey Jesus, you become his treasure possession. And by you being that treasure possession, everything in the earth is his. So by you being full of obedient to him, whatever it is in earth that he owns, you will own as well. See, my brothers and my sisters, one thing you got to realize, your obedience determines the size of your breakthrough, no matter what. So are you determined to fully, fully obey Jesus? And right now, some of you are and some of you not. Some of y'all might even not, haven't seen anything in a while, but you still are you being happy, you complain, you still grumpy. So just remember what kind of breakthrough that you're going to receive by you being complaining, by you being grumpy all the time. Some of y'all just want to do it when it's convenient for y'all. Just remember, that's what kind of breakthrough you're going to receive. But for the ones who's fully obedient through Jesus, even though you've been hurting, even though you've been suffering, even though you've been in pain, even though Jesus has been quiet, even though your tongue has been dark, even though your storm has been heavy, but you still walk around every day with that smile on your face, you still praising Jesus, you still glorify his name, you still lifting his name up high, you still staying positive each and every day, your breakthrough is going to be more than what you ever, ever can imagine. Because why? Look, look what you've been doing. You've been obedient through your prayers. You've been obedient. During the silent time, you've been obedient through your dog tone. You've been obedient in your stone. You've been obedient in your relationship. You've been obedient by reading your Bible. You've been obedient by staying positive. You've been obedient through your hurt. You've been obedient through your suffering. You've been obedient through, through your, your situation still looking the same. You still been obedient. And by you still being obedient for that, Jesus said you're his prized possession. You're his treasure possession everything in the earth belong to him so whatever it is in the earth that you want it belong to him it's already yours it's already yours it already have your name on it my brothers it already have your name on it my sisters your obedience determine the size of your breakthrough every last one of my brothers and sisters right now you need to hear that your obedience determine the size it's up to you if you're going to fully obey Jesus or you're going to obey him halfway or you're going to obey him three quarters of the way or you're going to obey him one and a half of the way. It's up to you. You determine or decide your breakthrough. Not him, but you. You determine the size of it. I don't know about you, my brothers, my sisters. I'm obedient. No matter what I go through, 
no matter what I face, I've been hurting for a while. I've been suffering for a while, but I'm still obedient each and every day fully. Praising, worshiping him. I'm obedient in my prayers. I'm obedient in my walk. I'm obedient in, in, my, in, my, in my ministry with him. I'm obedient in my prayer. I'm obedient in my storm. I'm obedient in my dog tongue. I'm obedient during the quiet time. I'm obedient for Jesus. I seek him each and every day. I praise his name every day. I worship him every day. And I give him the glory every day. And I let him know I can't thank him enough every day. So I know. My breakthrough is huge. I know that my breakthrough is plentiful because your obedience determines the size of your breakthrough. Now, how big is your breakthrough today, my sisters? How big is your breakthrough today, my brothers? I don't know who I'm talking to today, but my brothers, my sisters, y'all need to hear this word today. Y'all need to let this word and this message right now, y'all need to let this word seek in your heart. Let it seek in your spirit. And just think about it. It's your obedience to turn what side your breakthrough. Not nobody else but you. This is what the word of God says. If you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possession. He's telling you. He gave me your promise. You will be. He said might be. He said you will be my treasured possession. Although the whole earth is mine. Everything belongs to him. The connection belongs to him. The resources belong to him. If you believe that it belongs to man, you're sadly mistaken. Everything belongs to him. Everything on this planet called earth belongs to Jesus. So whatever it is on this earth that you want, it belongs to him. But only if you fully obey him. Only if you fully obey him. Do what he said. You will be my treasure possession. And when you come to Jesus' treasure possession, everything in this earth will belong to you as well. So you determine the size of your breakthrough. You decide. You determine. Right now. Right now, you need to make an agreement with yourself and say, you know what? It's up to me how big my breakthrough is going to be. Because I'm going to fully go through this I'm going to do it halfway. Or I'm going to complain. It's up to you. Not nobody else today, my sisters and my brothers. It's up to you. You determine the size of your breakthrough. It's right here in the Word. Turn your Bible to Exodus 19, verse 5. It's going to tell you. If you fully obey Him, you will be His treasured possession. He didn't say might or maybe. You will be His treasured possession. Although, Everything in the earth belong to me. Everything is his. Everything. Not a little bit. Everything belong to him. And when you become his treasure possession, everything belong to him will belong to you. Amen. I don't know about you, but I know my breakthrough is plentiful. I know it's more than enough. And some of y'all need to be both. Some of y'all need to be obedient. They need to be fully obedient. Trust him. Be obedient. During the hurt, be obedient. During the during the dog times, be obedient. During your pain, be obedient. During your broke days, be obedient when you ain't seen sun in a while. Be obedient when you ain't seen rain. Be obedient when you ain't seen help. Be obedient in your storm. Be obedient fully. Be obedient. And once you be fully obedient and follow all his his law and his commands, you determine the size of your breakthrough. And if you do that, your breakthrough will be plentiful. Your breakthrough will be more than enough. Amen? Amen. And I hope that this word, this message today was helpful towards somebody today. And like I said earlier today, my brothers, my sisters, when y'all hear this word, when you hear this message, you really, really need to listen to it. Listen to it. Meditate on it. Let it sink in and go for it. When you go for it, you need to share it with your family, your sons, your mothers, your daughters, your, your dads, your grandmothers, whoever it is, you need to share it. Amen? Amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to guide me, direct me, use me, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. 
And I believe right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, by you praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' holy name. Amen.